Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday. We also have your boredom busters coming up. But first, our top story. Police have arrested a suspect in connection with Friday's deadly shooting in Rapid City. 21-year-old Luke Birch is in the Pennington County Jail charged with first-degree murder. Officers responded to the 4500 block of Candlewood Place late Friday afternoon for a report of a gunshot heard in the area. Officers found the body of a male with a gunshot wound. Police say Birch knew the victim. A man from T will serve more than a decade behind bars for dealing meth. A judge has sentenced 44-year-old Nicholas Gansky to 10 years and 10 months in federal prison after pleading guilty last fall to conspiracy to distribute a controlled substance. Prosecutors say Gansky, along with his co-conspirators, were responsible for distributing 500 grams or more of meth in South Dakota. They say Gansky would meet a co-conspirator to purchase the drugs and then sell to others in the Sioux Falls area. Gansky also faces five years of supervised release once he's out of prison and has to pay $100 to the Federal Crime Victims Fund. Moving your clocks ahead one hour shouldn't be the only timely ritual to take care of with the arrival of daylight saving time. South Dakota law enforcement says this is also a good time to check your smoke alarm batteries as well as flashlight batteries. Families should also review their home emergency escape plans. Also, make sure emergency kits for your home and car are fully stocked and refreshed. And finally, review and update your emergency contact lists. People involved in three local mentorship programs have been able to attend games at the Summit League basketball tournament in Sioux Falls for free. The programs include teammates of Sioux Falls, Lutheran Social Services, and Never Give Up. They're all recipients of the free game tickets. The mentors attended the game with their young mentees. Yellow Jacket Irrigation and Landscaping is giving almost 300 tickets to the groups. The business owners say they've seen how mentorship programs impact the lives of children. So I work with kids every day and I see the impact that mentors have on mentees when they come into our schools, um, when they have lunch with our students, when they play games with our students. Um, those days the students are so excited to spend that one-on-one -on -one time with an adult um, and I just see that positive impact on a daily basis. The mentors, who are grateful for the free tickets, say attending sporting events like the Summit League Tournament is a great way to connect with the kids they serve. Let's take our first look at the forecast now with meteorologist Adam Rutt and the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. We do have that delayed start for sunrises for at least a little while now with with, with times rather uh, going ahead an hour. Temperatures are going to be skipping a month ahead for today and then another month as we head toward Monday. But that's some changes on the way. We'll start with a view here in Sioux Falls, 31 with a southeast breeze at 9 miles per hour. And we'll just take a tour around Kelloland on what has been a beautiful start to the day, but chillier up in Aberdeen, 21 with a south wind at 7 miles per hour in Brown County. For Pier, you're also getting in on a beautiful sunrise, 25 uh, with a southeasterly wind at 5 miles per hour. And Rapid City, just under that 30 degree mark, 29, a northwest wind light for now at six miles per hour. We have some even chillier weather though, east of I-29, 21 for Ortonville, 15 for Spencer this morning, 23 though in Marshall, Warmington, Brookings and Watertown, all at 24, 21 for Phillip. Uh, but on the other side of that, 45, the outlier on the milder side over in Spearfish. And those winds are tolerable for the time being, around five to 10 miles per hour in many locations. But that breeze is going to pick up today. It's going to pick up again on Monday. And we do have elevated fire weather concerns for both days. We'll talk about that in a little more detail and go through the rest of your seven day forecast coming up. All right, thank you very much, Adam. Well, even though temperatures are warming up this weekend, it's still a little too early for a dip in the pool just yet. But the city of Sioux Falls is already planning for crowds looking to cool off in the summer heat. They're hiring lifeguards and other pool staff ahead of opening day, which is scheduled for May 31st. Landing a lifeguarding job requires earning certification. I have a lot of returners that came back from last summer that want to work for us again this summer that are already certified. But, you know, you get a, you, the other half are our kids that are new to the job. Other pool-related jobs include cashiers and swimming lesson instructors. To apply for a pool job or browse other opportunities, go to this story here on Kelloland.com. The Sioux Falls Toy Show features hundreds of tables filled with model cars, dolls, antiques, and games. It's taking place at the Ramcota Exhibit Hall from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. 
Admission is $7, free for ages 12 and under. Strike a pose with the Easter Bunny at the Empire Mall. The Bunny Photo Experience takes place from noon to 6 in the Center Food Court. Reservations are strongly encouraged. Shalom Christian Reformed Church in Sioux Falls is hosting a Rise Up Family Easter event. There will be an Easter story walk along with games, prizes, face painting, and a balloon artist from 3 to 5 p.m. Admission is free. Movies playing at the Historic State Theater in downtown Sioux Falls include Space Jam, rated PG, and Barbie, rated PG-13. Flagship's Pro Wrestling presents its Overhaul Battle Royal at the Laurel Ridge Barn Wedding and Events venue in Sioux Falls. The wrestling action gets underway at 6 p.m. Tickets start at $15. And the Sky Force basketball team takes on the Salt Lake City Stars in NBA G League basketball action at the Sanford Pentagon. Tip-off is at 2.05. Adam? Well, if you want to get outside today, I highly recommend that you do so. Plenty of sunshine to go around, a little bit of cloud cover along an upper level trough axis to the west, but that's really just about it. And while this is great for outdoor activities, like I mentioned earlier, it is going to be very dry today, both in terms of the vegetation and a very dry air mass as well. Combine that with warmer temperatures and a decent breeze, and we will have, have elevated fire weather concerns today. In fact, a fire weather watch is already in place for southeastern Kelowland, including the Sioux Falls area, for Monday. So you will want to keep that in mind as we go into the start of our next work and school week. If you want moisture, regardless of what kind it is, you have to head to the Pacific Northwest where they've got some rain and snow showers up in that neck of the woods. A couple of snow showers off the Great Lakes headed toward Columbus and the Buffalo. But then a nice little storm system for interior portions of New England, Montreal and Quebec City getting in on some heavy snow and some rain down east Maine toward uh, Portland and Bangor. But we just don't have anything happening here for now, that's the key phrase. By the middle of the week, we do try to get something in place. It's going to be a matter of just where the system tracks. I think right now, uh, opportunities for rain are going to be better West River. And yes, we could see some light snow in the highest elevations of the hills. So you will want to keep that in mind toward uh, Lead and Deadwood and uh, surrounding communities. As we head into Thursday and Thursday night, notice how that moisture kind of gets shunted down to the south and east of Sioux Falls. We'll see if that job up north and west. That's why we're keeping in that chance for rain for now on Thursday for Sioux Falls, but that is subject to change if this trend continues. But we do have a little clipper system that will come in for Friday, and that's going to try and bring in another opportunity for some rain showers, maybe even mixing with a few flakes overnight into early Saturday as we head into the second half of the month. For what it's worth, odds for above average temperatures remain favored, but only slightly for West River communities. I remember the deeper the shade of orange, the more likely you'll see above of average weather, not necessarily whether it's by a little bit or a lot. It's kind of a sign of things to come as we head toward the second half of the month, which can be notoriously wily at times. Highs today in southeastern Kelowland, upper 50s east of I-29 into Minnesota and Iowa, 60s elsewhere, including 60 here in Sioux Falls. Uh, for the northeast, upper 50s to low 60s, plenty of sunshine, but that breeze is going to be picking up a little bit more. Out to the west, we'll be firmly in the 60s, even near 70 in a couple of areas, with, again, plentiful amounts of sunshine. So enjoy the day, regardless of what side of the river you may be on. Overnight low temperatures tonight will drop into the upper 20s and a low to mid 30s in many locations. The rest of your seven day forecast, pretty good through Wednesday, at least in Sioux Falls, will be in the 60s or better. We peak on Monday at 73, but you notice it is a gradual slide down the hill through the rest of the week, including that chance for rain Thursday into Friday. In Aberdeen, we'll also have temperatures well above average through Tuesday. You peak on Monday, but we'll add Wednesday with a chance for a couple of rain showers that'll linger into Friday before we quiet down for the weekend and also get ready for a little bit of a cool down, if you will. Still a little bit above average for this time of year, though, at least in Aberdeen. For Pier, 60 or better through Tuesday, then we get ready for 50s Wednesday and Thursday, uh, not to mention some rain both days before you're in the upper 40s by Saturday. And the Rapid City, 60s through Monday, 58 on Tuesday, dry all the way up to Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday for that matter, both days featuring a chance for rain and then we quiet down and cool down as we head toward next weekend. Have a great day, everybody. For more on your local news, weather and sports, you can always head on over to Kelloland.com.